All right, today we're gonna to be looking at the RTX 5000 in SOLIDWORKS, SOLIDWORKS Visualize, the SOLIDWORKS Benchmark tool, and just want a quick stress test in Firmark to make sure we don't get any thermal loading and to see what the peak temperature is. Cool, let's get started. Relatively large file um, loaded up here, mostly lightweight. Um, I also have my 3D mouse, and really what we're looking for is just how the frame rates look on the user interface, and then where the GPU is getting pegged in the task manager. So let's go ahead and try this out. We'll go ahead and start out with the arrow keys. This is me just striking the arrow keys on the keyboard. Lost a couple left to right there for whatever reason. Not really utilizing a whole lot of the GPU, which is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and use the center mouse rotate. We're gonna do a pan and rotate. This is actually using the 3D mouse. And the GPU is keeping up, oops, with the 3D mouse. And we're seeing about 35% the usage, which is what about just randomly zooming in and zooming out, dropping a couple frames. But all in all, pretty dang good. Not really taxing the GPU at all here. Um, let's try changing the mode, the outline mode. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on shaded with edges. This will take a second to complete. And there we have our shaded with edges options open. We're gonna see if this makes a difference on pegging the GPU. Let's see what we get. This is rotating and panning at the same time. And not a whole lot of difference, just the way that, that NVIDIA um, handles and calculates the, the rotating part of SOLIDWORKS, which is now offloaded to the GPU, um, seems to be like we are not getting above that 35% range. And, and I would put this at a relatively complicated model, right, as far as uh, number of components and number of edges and lines and detail and whatnot. You got some copings, some members, all the internal components in here. So if you are really struggling with, with your current GPU and you're looking for an upgrade for something massive, right? Maybe your guys' assemblies are massive. You're really going to have some good luck with like a RTX 5000 or better, really, depending on your situation. Uh, you know, 80,000 components, um, 11 assembly depths, a uh, ton of graphics triangles. I think that the, the larger components have up to 3 million on this file. So this is, I think, a really cool uh, benchmark for the RTX 5000 and really impressive, actually, considering we couldn't get above 35% of GPU usage. Now i got to figure out what I'm going to use that other 70% for. Hmm. On, on a mental note, too, this makes me want to test the RTX 6000 because... If I spend all that much more money, is it really worth it compared to a 6000 to a 5000 It makes me wonder. So I'll see if I can get one of those next. If you've liked this video so far, be sure to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe. It helps me continue to make great content for you. Okay, now that we've finished the SOLIDWORKS test, let's jump into the SOLIDWORKS benchmark and take a look at some of the numbers there. The benchmark inside of SOLIDWORKS. Uh, this is found in the RX tab. Uh, on the right hand side of your SOLIDWORKS UI and then you can select benchmark and click start. One of the things I want to show though is that I'm running not just SOLIDWORKS but a whole lot of other applications like uh, my recording software which is uh, Camtasia. So um, slightly slightly biased benchmark because I'm recording but let's give this a shot. Okay so what SOLIDWORKS is doing right now is essentially opening and rotating several different types of files, you know, opening the drawings, um, this particular file has like lots of faces and edges and we're seeing how that performs. This is an assembly file and it's just going to run through these, uh, uh, you know, you know, quite a few passes and record performance. This is also going to take a look at thermal throttling. So right now what's going on is everything's kind of heating up. And if your computer isn't like a workstation grade computer, there's a good chance that thermal throttling and in a sense, your computer is heating up. Uh, more than it should right now and therefore is going to slow down to combat the heating up because it's not cooling down fast enough. Now this is really what sets aside uh, or you know makes the difference between buying a workstation rated computer that's designed for 
uh, you know, these kind of loads versus a gaming computer. Uh, and so one of the things that we're checking for is, hey, are we thermal loading? You know, how hot is everything getting? Um, is the performance difference from one, uh, one test to another test and so on? So some good information here. This, this video is actually run at 20x too. So it is taking significantly longer than what you're seeing on screen per se. And it's almost finished here. We're just wrapping things up. While we're wrapping, wrapping things up, if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more great content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. All right, so here we can see some of the specs from the benchmark. And then what I've also done here is I've also attached um, Specky, just showing up all the uh, specs for my computer so that maybe you can compare those to yours and then likewise run this benchmark and then compare those numbers to your hardware setup. All right, moving on now with the RTX 5000 in the Firmark tool, we're gonna do just a standard 720p and maybe a 1080p test and take a look at some of the results there so you can compare them with your GPU. Right, the next software package we're gonna jump into is SolidWorks Visualize. And we're gonna take a look at how long it takes to get to a 1500 pass count and maybe dial in as to the comparison between the RTX 4000 and the RTX 5000. Uh, again, we ran this comparison on the RTX 4000. I plan on testing some more GPUs and continuing to use this model just so you can see the pass count, how fast it's getting there. Um, again, running in the NVIDIA iRay uh, technology. The RTX 5000 has 3,072 CUDA cores, and it's got 48 ray tracing cores. So that's what we're going to be really testing with this. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a go here. We're going to start this back from 1. And we're up to 200 passes. Pass count is about 42 passes per second. And climbing to 65, denoisers kicked in. Uh, keep in mind I am also running recording software. Oh, and we're done. And we're running, and I'm running recording software simultaneously to doing this. This would be faster had I not be running software, recording software. All right, this last step we're gonna look into is, is opening up SolidWorks, opening up Visualize, opening up a render and just having all of these pieces of software running all at the same time and seeing how the RTX 5000 handles all that workload. This is really, really where I think the RTX 5000 is gonna shine, multitasking a multitude, different, uh, a multitude of different pieces of software. Let's take a look. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is test kind of everything at once because there's a lot of days where I'm multitasking, doing multiple things at the same time. And here we're going to test with uh, OBS Studio running, right? I'm also going to start a render on my second monitor, which is difficult to share, but I'm just gonna show my right-hand screen. Uh, keep in mind I'm running recording software at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a render. Um, and not a render queue, but just a normal render. So you JPEG render, uh, 4K, good resolution, maximum quality. I'm gonna click start. So that's gonna process. You can see my GPU usage kind of spike. We're up there at 80%, 94%. Um, then I'm gonna come back to me running on my webcam, right? And also running um, OBS Studio. And now switch over to SolidWorks and see how SolidWorks responds with all that GPU usage being used on the rendering application. So again, really kind of pushing the limits. I think this is one of the bonuses when you make the jump from the 4,000 to the 5,000 is that you can do a lot of things simultaneously and not lose productivity. So if you're in that bucket, I think this is really where your um, money is gonna be well spent between the 4,000 and the 5,000. 
Um, I have my 3D mouse. Let's see if I can get this GPU up to 100% here. It looks like one of the render passes is finished. You can see the spike. Huh? I, I'm, I'm really satisfied with the 85% here, and I feel like there's no lagging. I can actually run SolidWorks while doing a visualized render live. Let me show you what that looks like here in OBS. I'm gonna to switch to my right-hand screen. You can see that we're about 60% of the way done with this render, and things are working really well. So that's my best attempt at a stress test for uh, multi uh, applications running at the same time. I feel like I've got three resource hogs right now. I definitely got the recording software, Visualize, and then SolidWorks. And OBS for whatever that, you know, whatever, however much resources that handles. But certainly two powerhouses are SolidWorks and Visualize in this example. Cool, so that's my comparison on the RTX 5000. Cool, so that's going to wrap up my review on the RTX 5000. Um, GPU ne GPUs nowadays are getting so hard to, to really... Uh, Cool, so that's gonna wrap it up with my RTX 5000 review with SolidWorks and Visualize and just global system usage. Really happy with it. Um, it's really tough not to be happy with the GPU releases that are out nowadays, but I really do feel like if you're the type of candidate who is, who is running multiple pieces of software at the same time, then the RTX 5000 is probably a good way to go. Anything with some more processing power, um, it's definitely the money well spent. The RTX 4000 really um, did a great job as far as running SolidWorks and Visualize. Uh, I, I think that's probably the best bang for the buck. Um, dollars spent, you get the most bang for the buck there, but the RTX 5000 is just going to really be that huge safety net for when you run multiple applications. Hey, this is Adam Hughes. I can't thank you enough. If you watch this video all the way through, please hit the like and subscribe button. I definitely appreciate that. It helps me make more content for you. And if you have any ideas about any additional sorts of stress tests or any things that you'd like to see, please put them in the comments. My name's Adam Hughes. Fight on. Bloop. Outtakes. Bloop. If you'd like this video so far, be here to... <coughs> Bloop. If you'd like this video so far, be here to... Bloop. If you'd like this video so far, be here... Bloop. If you'd like this video so far, be here... Be sure. If you...